Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Sivien Gwendu and today we are doing another makeup video. So um, last month I was doing the bright eye challenge and so I promised you guys that I'm gonna continue with the difficult look looks but it doesn't have to be the bright eyes. So I'm continuing with that but today because I promised uh, my followers on Instagram to review this Seattle loose powder so what i'm doing today is that but i decided just to make things a little bit more interesting let me just do a whole face kind of a soft glam of yadli so i have this yadli loose powder right here and then i have a foundation from yadli i bought a foundation but this will be my first time i'm using a yadli foundation i love their powders i've been using their powders since like forever um but the foundation it will be the first time oh the loose powder the loose powder it was my first time using it um i've been like using their pressed powders i mean that's what i meant by the powders that i've been using and their eye prep pencil i love it so i decided to try their whole thing the eyeshadows i've been using as well so this is the foundation that i bought the stay fast in shade in shade cinnamon there it is up there in shade cinnamon up here it's written up here and um i have this um this eyeshadow palette it's um a wanderlust quad eyeshadow it's called wanderlust i think i think that's its name since i'm going for soft glam i thought i should buy these neutrals right here and then what else do i have okay i have my powder i've been using this in walmart 13 i've been using this pressed powder and this blush i've been using this blush as well um the anna april blusher i've been using this is from yadli as well and then i also have what else okay the pencil that i've been using and it's in wooden wood pen yeah it's wood pen and then i also bought the mascara <laughs> and uh pencil where's the pencil okay i can't find it but i'll find it later a black pencil just an eyeliner and uh yeah that's it oh i forgot to buy their concealer but because i love them <laughs> so i have their concealer this one i bought i think like last year when i started off with makeup no not last year i didn't start last year with makeup but like way back i've had this for a long time and it's in dark 03 it's in dark order so we'll be using this okay before we get started with the video i'd like to thank everyone who's been part of my channel and um if you are new on my channel and it's your first time seeing this face then welcome please don't forget to subscribe go watch my previous videos give them a thumbs up leave me some comments and um yeah you are welcome in this family let's get started with the video you guys i love you we're gonna start by doing our eyebrows i'm gonna go in with my dark brown pencil in shade wood pen from yadley gonna go in and conceal our eyebrows using this concealer from Yadli as well in dark O3 Okay, so using my beauty blender, I'm gonna go in with this loose powder in caramelized 
and try to set the concealer underneath my eyebrows. So I'm gonna go in with a powder brush and try to dust the excess powder off my eyelids before I go in with um, with an eyeshadow. So since I'm not doing anything that's too glam or bright, uh, I'm just gonna first go in on the crease with this matte um, brownish eyeshadow here. I'm not sure if it's gonna show because it's look, it looks like it's more like my skin but if it doesn't show then we're gonna go in with this one on my cruise i don't see no difference so you're gonna go in with the dark brown one So after working that eyeshadow onto my crease, it is not so like dark, 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 dark. It is though giving the depth onto my crease and it has shimmer so it's it's not giving that much depth but yeah, it is okay for a soft glam I think so. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna go in with this gold eyeshadow right here onto my eyelid and just try to to blend i will just try to place it with my finger and then blend with my finger and use a brush if that doesn't work out so let's try that <laughs> Okay, so right after that we're gonna go in with this black eyeliner and try to wing it just a little bit but yeah I'm used to using a liquid eyeliner but we're gonna try this <laughs> I don't like how this eyeliner is sitting on my eyes so what we're gonna do is to try to smoke it out using the same brown um, shadow that we have here I think I love this um, liner more now that that it is um, it is smoked out but I feel like I'm losing a whole lot of gold on my eyelid so what I'm gonna do is to try to again pack that using my finger So now let's go on to the other eye and try to put a pencil on and then we're going to smoke it out. Okay, so what I just did is I went in back with the, 
with the gold okay i did this other eye and then i went back in with the gold now using a brush because my finger wasn't reaching all the places i wanted it to reach and then i went back in with the brush i used earlier with the brown but i did not put any product on it and so i tried blending out again my crease so that everything is just well blended and then i went in with that brush that i was smoking out my my liner with i also tried to define my smoky right there by the liner <laughs> if that makes sense but yeah that's what i tried to do and i think now it's pretty um okay this looks okay to me it's fine so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go on ahead and um and do my whole face so i do not have a yardly primer i did moisturize my face and did everything on it so i'm gonna use my maybelline baby soft primer instead because i do not have a yardly primer okay so now i'm gonna go in with this cinnamon yeah the stay fast foundation okay so i really do not know how this foundation works guys i just tested it on clicks and i was blending it with my finger just right here by my jawline so now i'm gonna use a brush to put it on my face and see how it is so this is kind of a review as well <laughs> pretty good to me This might just be my favorite foundation. Oh my god. It blends so well on my skin, like guys, and the coverage. Like, okay, the coverage is not full coverage because I can still see my acne spots right here, but it is almost full. I think it is medium to full coverage. Let's check long wear long wearing high coverage no smudge formula well it's just written high coverage it is definitely high coverage and i think it's my fave this foundation guys it is so thick that's another thing i love about it and the other thing that i love so much about it is the one thing that i love about all the other products they have like that warm thing you know my skin is a bit like it has like a bit of reddish undertone so like i love a foundation that just blends in and it gives warmth to my skin it does not make me look ashy or anything and it is thick like it's not running it is just like a thick cons it has a thick consistency and it just blends so well on your skin i love it guys and i definitely recommend it well i don't know how is it gonna go throughout the day but i recommend it Okay, so the one thing I'm noticing about this foundation, which might be bad for someone who has like an oily skin like me, well, my skin is combination skin, has dry parts and oily parts. So um, I think it is a dewy finish kind of foundation because I'm not seeing any matte on my skin right now. But let's see. It just says long wearing, high coverage, no smudge formula. It doesn't say if it's mattifying or not. And here it's just i um, ingredients yeah okay so it is definitely um a gooey finish foundation because it is not mattifying i don't see any matte on my skin so yeah let's just try to drag this onto my neck as well <laughs> Okay, using the same concealer I used um, to conceal my eyebrows, we're gonna go back in and try to highlight my face. The 
this concealer guys i love it so much like it's not light which would make like my job blending it out so very much easier so i'm gonna use this beauty sponge to to blend this concealer out blends so perfectly with the foundation i'm loving this So now I'm gonna go on ahead and set my concealer using my Yardley um, loose powder in caramelized. caramelized. <laughs> Guys, I love this loose powder so much because the moment you put it on your face, it just melts. It really, it just melts with your skin and your product that you put before you pour it and it's like not there but everything is so set, like perfectly set. Like guys, this is the Laura Messier setting powder of the bro gang. Christ me. So to contour my face, I will go in with the usual my MAC um, Studio Fix pressed powder in shade NW58. Um, I don't have a darker shade of um, Yardley powder, so I will go in with this MAC one. Okay, so to set everything on my face and my contours, I'm gonna go in with my Yardley loose um, pressed powder um, in Walnut 13. After that, I'm gonna go in with my Yardley um, and an April blusher just to warm up my cheeks furthermore. <laughs> Okay, so right now because I also do not have a Yardley, um, I do not have a Yardley highlighter, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Glow With It highlighter. So I'm gonna go in with that. We could be flying free, leave our worries below. Safe and sound. So now I'm gonna go in again um, on my waterline using the same black um, eyeliner from Yardley as well. I'm just gonna make it a bit thicker on the outer corners because I wanna smoke it out as well. 
Just to complete this cat eyeish look. So now using my Triple X Volume Mascara from Yadi as well, I'm just gonna run it through my lashes, my lower lashes and my upper lashes. A million stars floating over our heads Beating hearts, falling apart, staying up to forget baby From the same eyeshadow palette, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this gold and highlight my inner corners. And now using my Yadli Gloss Lipstick um, It's a Stay Fast <laughs> I highly doubt that you guys can see um, But Stay Fast High Definition Lipstick In shade Coco Kisses I hope you guys can see that We're gonna fill in my lips <laughs> my face I'm gonna use this MAC prep and prime fixating spray okay so that is it you guys I'm done with my um, yardly review um, video this is the finished look and <laughs> I love it um, I really love their foundation you guys even though it's not matte but I really 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 love it I love and um, the fact that it warms up my face and um, everything else that I used after it it just blended very very well with the foundation so I really love it and the powder the loose powder you guys you all saw it for yourselves like it is the plug <laughs> it is really the plug so yeah thank you so much guys for watching i really hope this video was helpful and um i really hope you enjoyed watching if you haven't please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you are new here then welcome to my family please subscribe to my channel and let's get this ball rolling thank you so much guys for watching i love you all